Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're in Maya 2024. We're doing a subscriber request video and we are creating a heart shaped balloon. And I received that request from Cynthia. So thank you for sending that in, right? Okay, now, um, first of all, let me start by saying, take your time modeling this, right? I'm not gonna spend the ages on it because this is simply a, um, a, a tutorial. But if you're gonna do this, the end result will look much better if you tweak the vertices that your heart looks perfect, right? And again, I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this video, but be aware, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna take a polygon plane. I'm gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna set that to three by three. Yeah, okay, cool. Now let's turn that into half of our heart. So first I need to move the pivot point. Now if I hit W, you'll see it's in the middle. So I'm gonna hit my insert key, right? And then I'm gonna hold down V and snap it to the vertex over there. Now, a lot of people say, I don't have an insert key or I don't know where it is. Well, it's next to your home key on your keyboard. But if you don't have the insert key, what you can also do is hold down the D key while you're moving, right? So I'm gonna hit the insert key again. And if you are holding down the D, you can now let go. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna hold down X and we're gonna move it to the middle, All right? Now let's grab some vertices, right click vertex and we're gonna start to change this into something looking like half of a heart, right? And again, I'm doing this really, really fast, right? So take your time. Okay, I'm gonna hit R, I'm gonna kind of squish it in just a little. Grab one more vertex, this guy, pull it down. And there you have it, half of our heart, okay? Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click and go to object mode and um, we're gonna flip it over. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more subdivision and I'll let you know why in a minute, yeah? I'm gonna hit insert edge loop. Let's do two, that's fine, and I'll do to here and to there and to there and then to there, there and there. Okay, cool. Q on the keyboard, go to object mode. We're gonna go up to uh, mesh and we're gonna go to mirror. And there you have it. Now from here, we're gonna go to object mode and we're gonna select the whole thing and we're gonna go to mesh and combine. So now we have one object and let's see. Yeah, we do. And then we're gonna right click and go to vertex and we're gonna grab the vertices that are in the middle and we're gonna merge those. Okay, make sure you only have those. Go to edit mesh and merge. So now we have one object. Now a balloon has thickness, obviously, right? So we need to give this some thickness. Now we're gonna extrude it. We're gonna, uh, in my case, I'm gonna hit control E because that's my shortcut. And otherwise you're gonna go up to edit mesh and extrude, yeah? And we're gonna give it a slight thickness. Let's try 0 0.2, that's way too much, 0 0.02, that's better. 0 0.02, maybe even less, 0 0.01, okay. Then we're gonna go and add subdivisions, at least five. Now you're probably thinking, well, why are you making it so flat? Because it's supposed to be a balloon, right? Well, bear with me. Now, now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into an end cloth object. So with this selected, we're gonna go up to our FX menu, right? Then we're gonna go to end cloth and we're gonna create an end cloth object. Now, as we do that, if we open our outliner, you'll see that we now have a couple of additions here. We have a nucleus and we have an end cloth, okay? Now, if I open these up in the attribute editor and I go to, uh, let's see, we'll go to the nucleus one first, you'll see that there's a setting for gravity. Now, keep in mind, this will be a simulation or we're gonna pressurize this thing, okay? And if gravity is turned on, it will pressurize it, but also fall down because of the gravity. So we need to set that gravity to zero, right? Gravity direction, although it is set to uh, zero, right? We're probably gonna wanna, well, I mean, technically it shouldn't move, but you could set this to zero. Everything else I'm gonna leave alone right here, not make it too complicated, yeah? 
Okay, so that's the nucleus. Now let's look at the end cloth shape one. Here is a tab called pressure. We're going to click on the pressure tab and we're going to increase that pressure to, I would say, about one, right? And we're going to go down here and in our animation slider, make sure you have at least a thousand frames. And with one setup as pressure, we're going to hit the play button and see what happens. Okay. Now you see that this guy turns into a big fat heart shape type deal. Yeah. It, it's moving a little bit, not sure why, but it doesn't really matter that much because once we have the shape that we like, we are going to go back and uh, get rid of that, right? So I'm just going to stop this for a second. Pressure is a bit much, so let's try 0 0.6. Hit enter, run it again. Let's cast that out. A little bit better. Let's try 0 0.4 maybe. There you have it. Okay, now let's say we're happy with that, right? Now, you see that it's all bumpy and there are these sharp angles and whatnot. Sometimes uh, balloons look like that, but obviously we don't want that. We're gonna uh, tweak the shape, yeah? So in order to be able to do this, we need to select this guy and then we're gonna go up and we are going to freeze transformations. We're gonna delete the history and we're gonna uh, center the pivot. So now if you hit play, nothing will happen because it's disconnected, if you will, yeah? So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna control D to duplicate it. We're gonna W, we're gonna move it over here and then we're gonna grab all of this, right? Let's go in here to, uh, let's see, which is our new one? That's our new one, okay? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna delete it, we're gonna delete it and we're just gonna have this guy. Let's move it to the center of our grid. Let's kind of set it upright so we can see what we're looking at here. Alrighty. Now, if we hit three to preview smooth this, you'll see you get something looking like this. Okay. Well, it's upside down. That's fine. Now, again, if you don't want to have these sharp angles here, you can tweak that. I mean, even in this phase, right? There's still a lot of things you can do. So I could go in here and I can uh, right click and go to vertex mode, for example, and grab these and these, right? And simply hit B for soft select and then hit W and move them in a little bit. Uh, actually with the R key, yeah, like this. So there are many, many ways you can still tweak this. The whole idea of this uh, tutorial is that you can use that pressurize uh, feature. And the cool thing is, because you can do that, you can use this method for anything that's inflated, right? So if we're talking balloons here, but it can be anything. You can actually inflate pillows. You can inflate, uh, um, I don't know, whatever's inflated, yeah? So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. And if you have any uh, questions or requests, send it to the email address below, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, I have not monetized my videos. So if you enjoy them, please hit that like, please hit that subscribe button, okay? Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.